got a magic wand. Hey, everybody. Anybody there? Hmm, I wonder if I can... Hey, Ashley. Hi, guys. You know, I got my natural tonight, honey. She's natural hair. Long hair don't care. Aiden said he don't like this top bun. I said, that's the new thing. He said, it's not your thing. I'm going to let a few more people come in. Let me turn up this volume. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jacksonville, Arkansas. Hey, Tramiel, get your back up off the wall. <laughs> Hi, Kirsten. Hey, Delisa. Oh, everybody. Okay, can we start off by saying, y'all, we ain't gonna start with no miss. Let's start on a positive note. Let's start on the good foot lollipop. Please, can we please stay on, uh, start on the positive note. Which side is my camera on? This side. I want to be looking cock -eyed. I think I am. But y'all, this all my hair. You know, you have, when you've been talking about people edges for about four weeks straight, you got to make sure people see yours. <laughs> I told Aiden, listen, this might not be what we used to, but we need to, I need to just let people know I do have a little bit of hair. Meanwhile... I'm talking about other people's, okay? Hey, I absolutely love the realness that you bring to the show. You know what? I didn't catch your name, but I, I do too. I love the realness I bring to the show as well. Unfortunately, others do not. Why are you so mad at Quad? It seems like she is something. I'm not mad at her at all. Actually, I throw shade at everybody. I just, I mean, it's just who I am. It's, we're on a reality show. Um... Those edges, girl. Honey, I got what you talking about my edges for? I didn't put no edge control on it, but you know what? They'll be okay. Top knot. Yes, Tiffany. H and R below. Uh, wait a minute. Y'all going to can I slow down the girl? I slay in my what women, Michael Reed. I slay in my confessions. I slay anytime I get an opportunity to do when they ain't cutting me out, okay? You know they have to doggone filter me. Thank you. You like my natural hair. She ain't blonde enough. I need a few blonde pieces in there, honey. You know, I'm old blonde, blonde bombshell. All right, all your friends reeling some. All right, you, wait a minute. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Y'all going too fast. Jesus, and I'm by myself today. Okay, listen. Um, Yes, I have very real friends in very real life. And if it were up to me, if I, you know, a few of them would probably be added to the show. And they just so happen to be doctors and doctor's wives, just like all of these women that I casted on the show, besides Lisa Nicole um, and Janice. And I like both of them, honestly. Life is short, friends are something. I missed it. Love you on the show. I, whoever just said the, the thing about life is short, tell me again. No filters for it. Okay, yes. You don't throw shade. I throw palm trees. You know what? You hate the way they treat me. You know what? Let them do whatever they do because at the end of the day, Eleanor Roosevelt said people can only make you feel inferior if you allow them. So it is what it is. Yes, I picked all the women for the show. I handpicked the show. We had we were picked up on another network, uh, paid for it to be shot several times. Yes, so it's one of our it's one of our creations of many more to come. I'm not still, I'm not necessarily still hurt by Quad's actions. I just, I shade everybody. So, this, I don't take it personal anymore. You, when you, when people show you who they are, believe them. I just didn't believe it the first time. But I got it by the sixth or seventh time. Tell you that. Um, hey mama, mama Lucy is on Facebook Live. Tell my husband, thanks for saving his life. Oh, People don't know you came up with the class up, Married to Medicine. Okay, you are the only... Oh, this is going fast, y'all. Jesus. Looks like Jackie don't want to be married anymore. Ooh, Porter. You ain't... You know what, Portia. 
I I don't, you know, no comment. You know what? Everybody misses me and Quad's relationship. I get it. I love Quad. I really, really, truly do. I'm going to tell you how you should know I love Quad. Because anytime I talk about somebody edges for four weeks, you should know it's really out of love, not out of hate. Because you think out of all the years we've been married or we've been friends and we I've been married a lot of those years and she had just got married and she had just met her husband. And just through all of our memories, you don't think that you know, as friends, that is things that we probably could say about each other, to be honest. But I don't do that. I choose not to go there. So I keep it very petty, 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 you know, and talk about her edges rather than, you know, throwing low blows. I'd rather not do that. Uh, You can't believe Mom Lucy's on Facebook Live. How is my leg? It was my ankle, and it's doing much better. It's not 100%, but it's doing much better. Mr. Potato Head, Dr. Simone is a sneaky one to cash you out the group. Quad needs baby, not doc. You know what? People Let people have babies if they want to. If they Because children, I'm going to be honest with you, they're very expensive. They are very expensive, and they're very ungrateful. But they are blessings from God. But they're very ungrateful. You spend all your money, all your time, and all your everything into them. And I'm not sure they really get it. You sick of Heavenly Mouth. But you know what? Heavenly kind of bring life to the show in terms of, you know, from a comedy standpoint. So I could appreciate that. Can this be Toya's last season? I don't make that call, but I tell you, if I could have to keep somebody, it probably would be Toya. Because of everybody, I have to tell y'all, the people that everybody else love, I, what I what people see is not my experience. I see it from a, a different, you know, trajectory. And what I get is, I got to just keep it real. Toya has been one of the most consistent people um, throughout it all outside of myself. And that's the God on the truth. Since day one, Toya has been the same. Love her or hate her, what you see is what you get. And shit, you can't do anything but respect that. Mm -hmm. Next. I've never seen any of them keep it real about me. You are never, have you ever seen any of them say anything positive? Somebody just said they don't see me on Facebook Live. You're probably not on my Facebook page, on my fan page. Yeah, that is very true. What is your experience with Heavenly? Um, you know what, to be honest, I tried to cast Heavenly the first season and, um, you know, Heavenly at that time didn't look like how she looked now, but she always had the same personality. I got to keep it real. Heavenly was pushing through a Bentley. She was, you know, a lot of practices and her husband was an ER doctor and I liked Heavenly. Toya introduced me to Heavenly and said, Hey, she would be perfect for the show. Toya believed in her. We went there and met her. Toya, but I tell you, Heavenly didn't like me from day one. She kept it real. She said, I don't like that bitch. She, she never liked me. And you, I said, what, what, what is it? What have I ever done to you? She said, I don't like the way you walk in a room, but Toy, uh, Heavenly's been the same since day one. Unfortunately, the powers that be didn't cast her the first time around, but they did the second time. So I was happy about that. Um, Heavily don't like me. Okay, we know that. Yes, the producer, do the producers favor quad? Yeah, they love quad. They absolutely love quad. Mm. Can I teach Lisa how to stand up for herself? You know what? I got to be honest. I think Lisa's learning that on her own. Life will teach you that. You know, but I have no problems with Lisa. She's been sweet and I don't have no problem. Send her to therapy. I, you know what? We all could use a little therapy. I'm be honest. You be married to somebody long enough. They send your ass to the crazy house and to the doctor, okay? I kind of, you know what? I think I everybody, what's up with you and Funky Dineva? I don't even have to ask him or her that. I'm not really, I, I don't know. Um. I've always been really nice to Funky Dineva. Don't know. You know, I think him producers and quad are just BFFs. What can I say? Why do I destroy her edges? I destroy edges to, you know, it ain't, it's not destroying marriages. It's not destroying families. And it's definitely not destroying anybody's sleep. So I think that I just, it's just, a, you know, I think it's, it's an easy and petty blow. I, is she, um, 
uh, intimidated by my presence. You know, I just don't think a lot of them want me around. If I was casting, who would I cast? Oh my God, that's a good question. If I was casting, I would, um, oh, y'all going so fast. If I was casting, I have a lot of friends that I would cast. I would, I would definitely cast, um, my favorite dentist, Dr. Jared. Yes, I would probably cast her. She's fierce. She's fabulous. She's from New Orleans and I love her to death and dearly. Think she'll get her ass a run for their money. She would. Short old blonde natural dude, honey. They ain't ready for it. You know, and um, I probably would cast one of my neighbors. She's also in a multicultural marriage. And, honey, they ain't ready for her to travel all around the world like we do. Ain't got no kids. Married to a, you know, a man from Ivory Coast. Honey, old real old money. I just live. You know, I live for some old real money, honey. Um, and what's the next question? Okay, what do you think about how Toy and Eugene were speaking to each other? You know what? Aiden and I have a different relationship, but I gotta be honest, this is what I keep saying. Since I met Toy and Eugene, they've been like that, so I can't say nothing bad. They not putting on for no cameras, they not putting off for no cameras. This is who they are. This is the way they communicate, that's them, and that's the real. That is who they are. And you know what? Love them and hate them. I respect people for being who they are. Um. Oh, I ain't going to say that out loud. What did I think when I saw the quad's husband uninvited us? I You should be asking Aiden that because you know what? I already knew it. I smelt it. I felt it. I felt it in my bones. And I told Aiden, we don't need to go. This is a setup. And it ain't right. I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to be embarrassed. But Aiden don't listen to me all. So sometimes as a wife, you have to be humble and listen to your husband. You have to be submissive and just go and know you're going to be made a fool of. And so I walked into that trap being made a fool of because of my old, uh, my, my great husband. Um, Do you get credit for Houston M2M? Did you see my name on it? I didn't. <laughs> How about that? But Scott Dunlop gets credit for all of uh, Real Housewives franchise. But he's an older white guy, so he's probably a little bit different. Catch. Um, does your mother and sister doing? I haven't seen them lately. They're doing great. Uh, me, Mama can Mama went over to Lake. She be old picking sides, so she don't stay up here all the time. Do I hang with? I haven't seen Nene in a long time. Nene been busy and been traveling. Why are they trying to fight? She made her husband to not invite you. Quad is get oh Steve oh hush. Did you? Um, hey Kiosha. At the end of the day, you know the ratings are back up because of you. Thank you. Yes, you know I think the ratings are back up for a few things, and I think that I'm one of those reasons. But I wouldn't put all the weight on me. If I could, I would. But I think it's just a few things are just kind of working our favor. But I think the show is a lot better this year, personally, than last year. But that's just my opinion. They, I mean, I think it's a lot more personal. I think it's be mean, become mean girls. You know what, honey? I think, you know, what we seeing from the people is who they probably always been. I just didn't want to see it. I was old, naive girl from Chattanooga, wanting to see people for what I wanted them to be versus for who they really are. But now I see them all. And I've been real quiet this season and seen. I don't know if y'all noticed that. I've been real quiet and seen. I throw a few little things, but I was watching people, honey. This was my pure observation season. Season four was observation season for me. I need y'all to know that. I might have, because by the time I got to the confessionals, I had seen some shit. And I really was like, oh, okay, I see how we finna roll with this. Lisa blocks everybody on Twitter. I really, I don't block a lot of people, but I need to start. I'm going to learn from Lisa. Um, there's a marriage to medicine. Oh, thank you so much. Why did Lisa Ray come on, y'all? Who? Good for you. Hey, Finesse Finesse from Chattanooga. Why are they so mean to me? Because they don't like me, Tina. They don't want to be around me. Uh, I, I, I don't really know. Tell you what. Oh. 
Do I think, oh, that's a good question. Do I think the girls are intrus- too intrusive when it comes to each other's marriages? Absolutely. And you know what? I don't think that they are. And I'm saying they, this time I'm excluding myself because I'm not like this. I don't think that they are empathetic enough when it comes to people's lives, period. I didn't feel like they were empathetic when I suffered the loss of my children. I don't think it was, they were empathetic when my mom had a stroke. I don't think they were empathetic when I lost my father. Two months before Simone lost hers, I lost mine. And that's why we both were crying and seen. And they act like I had bad energy, but I was mourning. And I had been dealing with so much death in the past two years and sickness that it was overwhelming. And more than anything, I don't think they're empathetic enough about something that we all have in common as all married women. And at the end of the day, you know what? You want to think your husband is the buy all end all. But you don't know what men do when they leave your house. You trust them, you pray for them, you send them out, you cover them and and ask God to protect them and hope they do right. But they still make their own decisions. So I feel like at the end of the day, we should stick together as women. And I do think they have been very intrusive in Lisa's marriage. And it really bothers me because what people will do to other folks, they'll do to you when they get the opportunity. And I think it's, I really, it bothered me a lot this season. And that's why I really took to Lisa because she was really hurting and it's just been too much. Every And then did you notice her husband wasn't there because he was working, but then they didn't do none of that with Jackie. She gets to pass out. I mean, she didn't do none of that with Jackie. Nobody, nobody asked her 50 million questions. They hug her, pat her, kiss on the forehead, you know, give her flowers and you know, they about dedicated the trip to her because her husband didn't show up. Lisa's husband didn't show up and hell, she was almost sent home. You know, it's just seemed too much. Remember I told you, ooh, I don't want to hear about nobody's husband's cheating on. Let me tell you something. Marriage is hard enough. Okay, Dr. Feaster. Oh, you know, you would have been one of them other doctors that I would have uh, recommended for the show. However... I don't know if they could do two of Aiden's uh, women in his life. Two Aiden, that's Aiden's work wife I'm talking to on here. The, Dr. Feaster is his work wife. She's his boss. I tell him, he she's not my boss. I'm like, she's your boss. Why do the girls always choose to attack one another? Um, Because you know what? Madonna said it best. Women, for some reason, hate women. I mean, it, I ain't saying all of us, but some do. And I see that. They were solo. Seemingly, they are jealous of Lisa and Darren. I'm not saying that they jealous of them, but I just think people attack what they don't understand. And I think that Lisa has to understand she don't have to defend her damn marriage. Let me tell y'all something. Don't ask me too many questions about Aiden because he's a grown A man. And at the end of the day, you know what? I'll deal with my marriage and my household. Somebody husband lost a lot of you being funny because you seen him on that boat. Watch you. Mm-hmm. Somebody and somebody seem to be real friends. Yeah, they great friends on TV. Nothing like good old TV reality friends for a check. They are grown. They are too grown to be so messy. Girl, you know, people get real messy for the right amount of coin. Did they attack Lisa so much for ratings? Why is Dr. Ava? Dr. Ava should be on the show too, but she say she she always says she don't want to do it. But I think she would. I look cute without makeup. And I got edges and stuff, right? It's good. Um, I think Dr. Heavenly needs to back up off Lisa and her husband. I do too. I think it's not just Heavenly though. I can't put that all on Heavenly. I think all of them. Hmm, I think all of them have put a lot of pressure on that girl's marriage. And I just don't think, I think overall, as people, we just, you don't know what people be going through in their household. Did Quad marry her husband for money? Mm. Y'all are some messy people, okay? I ain't got nothing to do with none of this stuff. I don't know nothing about what anybody married anybody. I married my husband for love. Or do they attack from opportunity? Oh. Why were you not mad about Toya starting to party her party when you weren't talking about her? Because it's Toya. I, I expect Toya to stir the pot. It's wrong. And I was mad at Toya. I was disappointed in her, but Toya will be Toya. 
uh, what did Toya do before she came on the show? She said she was a teacher. I swear to God, she said she was a Toy told me she was a teacher. Oh, and she said she was a drug rep. Hmm. Catch. Why did they cover the death of Simone's father and not mine? You better get on out of here, boy. You about to make me log off Facebook Live. Have me somewhere doggone kicking the wall. You know what? I asked the same question because they don't want people to be able to relate to me. The same reason why they didn't cover um, the loss of my babies and us trying to go through rather not, I mean, and where we are now, if we're going to have more kids, if we're going to have to have somebody else to possibly be a surrogate for us, adoption, you know, just, you know, they just, I don't think they want to cover any story for me unless it's related to me having some drama with the other women. I don't think they want people to be able to relate to me. I supposed to be the villain, and that's all they want you to see. The drug rep was quite no, actually, she was not a drug rep. She was not never a drug rep. I was actually a pharmaceutical rep for for Pfizer Pharmaceuticals for six years. Sold the number one drug in the world, which is Lipitor, and I sold Norvast. And I was recruited from um, a device company. I sold LMAs, laryngeal mass airways, quad sold to nursing homes, and she was never a drug rep. Be clear. She was medical sales. There's a difference. I was a, so in the world of sales, you have medical sales. You have uh, you <laughs> wait a minute. You have medical sales. You have pharma, and then you have device sales. And quad was medical sales. So next, um, this is your show, girl. I loved it. You know, it is went in a completely different direction than I expected but you know what I really wanted people to see more of the sacrifices I wanted to be you know wanted people to see more of the things that, that the doctors and the wives and the families give up hell they work holidays you can be sick but they be taking care of saving somebody else's life you know um Vanessa Brown I, I know you just asked me a question and I um can't remember what it was why did they treat me like that um, I just think that the titles and everything, they said that, that I made them feel real small on the show and I, but it wasn't that it was never that I was trying to make somebody feel like they were less than me, but it's unfortunate as, as an African-American woman, you have to state who you are and what you've done in order for people to know you just not a Rudy Poo. Like it's sad, but you kind of have to let people know, listen, I ain't just no reality chick. She has degrees, she's worked hard, and this is mine. It wasn't about them. They didn't get that. They took it personal. But you have to let people know, this is mine. I'm vested in this. I own it. And I have a part in this. And I worked hard for this. What's up with your position on the show? Oh, God. Um, child, I don't know. Happy birthday, twin Teresa Kelly. They already felt less than. That's right, baby, and I love you for that. Okay, Xavier. Well, you know, they don't like me calling myself a queen. That was the thing, huh? They would kick me off as soon as I say, I can't even say anything to start with Q. So I don't even tell nobody to be quiet no more because it sounds too much like queen. Queen and quiet, so shit, I don't say nothing. I don't just start with a Q anymore. You say you, you black woman can't call herself no queen. A woman damn near can't call herself a queen. Not on an ensemble cast, you can't. Not for me. No shade. Alexander, you already know what it is, Alexander Paul, honey, because we think alike. Um, can Janice become permanent on the show? I think she already is. I think Janice was permanent this season. They just, it's unfortunate you didn't get to see Janice's lovely husband and her beautiful blended family because she does have an amazing family. And I think their story is phenomenal. And if I, if I hadn't met her, that would have been somebody I definitely would have cast. She has a great personality. I like Janice. I didn't, I didn't get to, to film one time with her. But I wish I could have. And it was unfortunate because we didn't get to see the type of synergy we would have had. I think people might be afraid of that. Um, but I, she has a great family. So I wish people could have seen more of that. Um, they can't stand when you lift. Okay, Linda. I see you, Linda. I can't pronounce your last name. I'm going to butcher it. Oh, thank you, Maldavia, honey. You said I was cute. Yes, honey. Ain't shit really about her, about her voice. You know what? I ain't finna fool with you today. 
everybody reaches for the top. You know where everybody ain't for the top. You know, you hope me and Quad can be become friends again, fix again. You know what, well, honestly and truly. Wait a minute. <laughs> I did not just say honestly and truly. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm not mad at Quad. The funny thing is, I'm not mad at Quad. I've gotten over it. Y'all should know can't nobody pay me enough money to make up with nobody I ain't ready to make up with. Not me. I really truly was playing and being comical, talking about her edges or this. Now I told the truth on everything I felt like. Be clear. But I'm not mad at Quad. I could hug her and kiss her and see right on the street. Now I be, now she would probably be somewhere with a whole lot of sense and her chest mad. But I just don't feel that way. I'm not mad. I'm over it. I see it for what it is. I get it now. I know where I stand and where I never stood. So I get it. You know, I'm not mad. Um, Funk Don even said he was behind the reel. And he's trying to make himself. Oh, God. Did you ever apologize? No, he, no. We haven't heard from Gwag, Greg for uh, uninviting us. And you know what? Honestly... You know what, uh, uh, some people, wait a minute, y'all throwing a whole lot of questions. I can't read this quick, y'all, damn. Um, Tasha said, uh, some people are in your life for a season, and that season is over. You can't, you've been around Lucy too long. You're hers, or Ada. You know what, you're absolutely right. I do believe that, and that's a tough pill to swallow, but it's the truth. The reason, seasons, and lifetimes. And you're right. And you outgrow some people. That little tear couldn't... Wait a minute. That little tear was stuck, cracked you up. Okay, Heather. You love me on the show. Thank you, Christina. I appreciate that. Lakia, do you hang out with any ladies outside of... You know... Oh, yeah. I, I hung out with uh, Toya the week before um, the holidays. Toya and Jacinda. Jacinda was the producer she'll get picked up if it weren't for Jacinda there would be no married to medicine ironically she's not on the show anymore the producers got rid of her let me be quiet but yeah um I hung out with him at the mall we were shopping for our husbands I miss seeing you and Simone together Brian but I haven't did anything to her you know uh how long did it take you to get over your miscarriage I don't know if it was a certain amount of time but, um, you know, you just, I think just life, your children, that's the great thing about kids. You know, they help, they make you realize you just got to keep it moving. Got to keep it moving. And why did, why didn't husband, um, why didn't whose husband, why didn't Heavenly's husband say that he wasn't grateful for her? He actually did. They just didn't show all of it. He had a beautiful speech. All of the men, I got to tell you something. We got some good husbands on that show. If you don't believe nothing, I tell you. Let me tell you. We got some smart, educated, God-fearing, wonderful, wonderful husbands on each and every one of them. And I can't lie about that. All great fathers. Now, they don't never say nothing positive. But I'm going to tell you, that's the truth. Toya's material. But you know what? It's just Toya mm -hmm. like stuff. But, you know, shit, the rest of them do too. Did she just show hers? She wasn't really shopping, y'all. She bought a pair of tennis shoes for her kids. Come on now, y'all. Get off the girl. They still doing Christmas. Y'all won't let the people buy shoes for Christmas? Jesus. She... I'm way too classy for that. Ooh, thank you, girl. Have you tried to reach out to Qua? I, you know what? I, I reached out to Qua before. I, oh, I reached out to Qua and, and the rest of the ladies. I, I reached out to every one of the ladies and wished them a very happy 2017. I told them it was a year of prosperity and a year of purpose. I think you should have your own show. I'm working on another show as we speak about our family. Dr. Simone, Lisa, Nicole, we're in a Twitter battle. Is it true Dr. Hebbler's pregnant y'all know that lady ain't pregnant when is my birthday i am two fat october 22nd honey i'm a libra we're gonna be signing out in about five minutes but my birthday is october 22nd aiden's is october the 19th lauren is october 5th and ethan is october 6th we all october and this october we going to bora bora honey with dr feaster okay whatever happened to hey ever Mm, need you come get this hair together, child. Quad thinks that you talk about her too much. 
Honey, she's been talking about me. You see how people talk about you, use your name when they needed to get in the dough, to get through the dough, to stay in the dough. But once they feel like they really there, then they, now I'm talking about her to my girl, get on that. I ain't said nothing today that I ain't say last week. She better move. You going to Bora Bora too? Come on. So many October babies. Hey, Mary Woods, Chattanooga. Kelly Hair. Oh, that was my first best friend ever on Woodside. You do serve the girls in confessional. Well, you know, they don't give me much time and scenes much more, honey. So they scared about what I'm going to say, I guess. Me and Quad were best friends. I, I thought we were. I mean... I mean, we was best friends, or I was the best opportunity. Am I cool with any ladies besides? So, yeah, um, I'm very cool with Janice. And Hamlin texts me from time to time. I hadn't really talked to Simone. Uh, uh, Dr. Jackie texts me um, recently. We text each other. Um... What is whose storyline? Hey... I'm not sure. You know, the crazy part is when you talk about storylines is that I hate that they didn't really show my family this season. I felt like my entire storyline you saw with other people. Everybody knows my sister almost died in childbirth. And at the time, you know, and Dr. Simone was a doctor. And so that probably caused some friction. But at the time, you know, her son, had to, her newborn baby had to come home with us. Then she had to come home with us. And be with us for six months. So I had my nephew. Mm -hmm. They didn't really show much of that, you know, and everybody knows that I had some scared. So we was dealing with the having another baby. They didn't show that, but you saw other people going through that. You know, my dad died. They didn't show that. You know, just so don't think I don't have stuff going on in my life. And anytime you in a you know diverse marriage like ours, it's always issues. So I know I'm not in the opening. I know the phony on that show. I know this quiet. Ooh, child. Wait a minute. Why didn't they show you Dr. Simone's funeral or that transition? I don't. I I don't know. I would love to see more of my family and the culture too. You know what? They ain't. I don't think they want the black. I don't know. If they they afraid. They they got the black, so they must be afraid of the dishy side, honey. Because you know they just as hood as us. Quiet as kept. The brown is just as worse as the black, honey, but or just as good, okay? Uh, if oh, I ain't even called nobody no alcoholic. Meanwhile, she sips her her wine. <laughs> mm hmm. Don't worry about the spinoff; it's coming. You know, I love some new faces, but it's a couple old ones I would keep. We really are in love. I'm not just saying to Alexander, like, sometimes you don't even have to say it. I don't have to wear no t-shirt to say, my boo, or he's mine, I'm his. We just really, really just enjoy our time. We really are friends. Like, it's good to be married to somebody you really friends. Hey, I miss with Aiden. I F's with Aiden. That's my dude. And you know what, baby? Aiden is right or die. Do you hear me? He really just like Mama Lucy. Aiden is a male version of Mama Lucy while you playing. He just so happy to be a doctor. An Indian doctor. Yes, he respect me and I respect him. How I mean, Nene, we cool. Everybody keep asking me about Nene. Nene, Nene, really, really cool. But you know, people be busy and stuff. I love our relationship too. Me and Aiden's relationship. That's my boo. Uh, I should have classes at Thorn Shade. You know, I don't even be trying. That's the bad part. That's the scary part. Who do I think the problem is? They need the black girl from Manchester, Massachusetts. She pop all of them. Who? What's her name? Oh, I think I met her. She was really sweet. Lisa's husband never come around. To his defense, would you come around with a bunch of people that's always talking about you and calling you names and... You know, questioning your sexuality. I'm not saying they per because I don't know. I don't know anything about his mar their marriage or anything like that. But I know from what I can see, they nice people, and I just think it's just too much. I wouldn't come around their asses either. 
seems very genuine. Oh, it is very genuine, Rashida. I appreciate that. Continue to be yourself. Thank you, Erica. You can comment without all of the shade you throw since you are good with everyone. I'm I'm coming as I'm just a natural show shade thrower, I guess. I'm not even trying, hon. Glad you're back on the show now. We're okay. Thank you, Quad Turn into a real man. Uh, I think the TV thing, honestly, I don't even take it personal. Because the TV thing, it just changed people. Dr. Heavily don't know how to talk to people. You know what? I think she's working on it. Will I return to season five? I'll let you know when the negotiations end. Why do you think ladies treat you differently? I just don't think that they, um, yeah. Mm, Carl reminds me of someone who is not used to that. Okay, y'all, we've been on here a minute. We got about two more minutes. What's the deal with Dr. Jackie Hudson? Again, I don't get in people marriages. I don't know about Lisa marriage and I don't know about Jackie's, but I feel like it's one and the same. Everybody had problems in their marriage. And they need to just back we need to back up sometime and let people work through it. I don't think Jack Husband complained all the time. Somebody said somebody he complained all the time he didn't give and I mean can Ooh, <laughs> y'all need to stop. Listen, I don't think that it's all Curtis by any means. I think he's a very, very nice guy. He keeps it very real. One of the realest husbands you will ever meet. So, mm, and I'm going to just leave that right there. Oh, Ava said my hair was gorgeous. Really? Thank you, girl. We want to see more. You and Mama Lucy have bigger heads on. Girl, child, I don't know. I can't even say I helped anybody. I'm going to just. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing my lip line, kissablelips.com. This is, I think this is the push through. You don't even know how to pucker up. And you can, you can get it at kissmariah.com. And I never do plugs, but there you go. Um, I ain't finna be repeating all this bad stuff. Y'all ain't finna have me set up for fair. Y'all set me up for fair. Y'all know a trap, honey. Same way I went to that doggone party. Knew it was finna be a trap. And hey, had the money waiting on me at the door. Y'all know I, you know Aiden was hot, baby. He wanted to kick through the, Aiden wanted to go in there and confront some people. I had to drag his brown tail back in that car and tell him, you, if you don't push that gas and get me the hell out of here. Y'all just need to get ready for the reunion. I am we going we go to the reunion a week. I mean a week from Thursday in, in New York City. We always film in New York. It's gonna be fire, honey, because you know the people finna come for me. Ooh, they about to come for me. Mm -hmm. You mad that they put us on Friday staying on Sundays, but we still come on, on Sundays as well. How's my foot? You know what? The foot is about seventy five percent to be, but to be perfect honest with you, the foot still ain't right, and that's the craziest thing in the world. I ain't never seen no foot that had been that badly hurt, but a lot of people have been telling me that it takes a long to really re fully recuperate. Um, but I, I wear a stiletto, honey, and the foot look like a doggone pig foot the next day. I mean, it swells up on me so. And it hurts really bad. You know, I still can't really wear a heel. But the foot is better. It's no longer broken. Why are they coming for me? I can't get... I just don't know why the people coming for me. Ask them. Child, I don't know what's going on with them. Destiny, you sick of somebody. I've seen it. You think Curtis is hard on Jackie? I don't. Mm -mm, but I see something different. So, I'm just leave that there. Do I know Marlo? I've never met Marlo, but let me tell you something. I love Marlo's style. Now, that is one sharp lady. Just don't get physical at the reunion. Keep it clear. Who am I going to get physical? I don't even... Yes, I've been physical before, but only when you talk about my kids. But other than that, I have no reason to get physical with none of these people. Hey, Louisiana is watching.
Hey, Sweeney, you tired of the dramatics? You taught you tired. <laughs> Wait a minute, why? Why tell me it? Why every other thing I see, I'm getting confused because my mama, Mama Lucy, keeps saying, "Tell them why they coming for you." Be up, you know why she got to? Why she gonna try to tell me what? What I'm supposed to be saying? Oh God. Are right, we gonna try for more children again? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's been too much. My sister almost died. I faced those issues. You gonna carry it for me? Cause I mm, that's they might not need to put that on TV. Cause me and Aiden clash about that. It's the opposite of Lisa and Darren, honey. I, ain't, I loved kids and, and and all that, but it's just been too much. It's too much on your body. Um, okay, guys, I got to sign off, and I got one more minute. Um, I wear hair extensions from either So Jody, or the ones you saw on the trip uh, were from Pretty Hair, Pretty Hair Depot, Maya Sly, from Cutting in an Egg. The kids are asleep. What you mean? I don't have no grown-ass kids. My kids go to sleep and they're ready for school tomorrow, okay? Homework done, extra homework done, books are read. Do you hear me, Paul? Alexander? How me and Dr. Simone? We cool. Okay, guys. I got to I gotta sign off. But y'all remember to catch out uh, my Yes yeah! series on my um, Facebook fan page. Thank y'all so much. Wait a minute, what you mean I couldn't be your mama? I could be your mama. I cook every day, honey. I, I, you know what? Anyway, black kids go to bed at 12 a.m. Use a damn lie. Don't, that's a stereotype. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so uh, bye, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I enjoyed it. I gave y'all 45 full minutes. And I love y'all so much. Ain't no show without y'all. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Yes!